there is a wide gap in perceptions between China and the West. The solution has to be to engage with mass audiences. My name is David Ferguson. I come from Scotland. I came to China in 2006. At the moment, I'm collecting material uh, to write a book which is about Zhuizhang. This is my fourth visit to Zhuizhang. One of the things that has struck me is that Zhuizhang seems to be a very progressive place and it seems to be a prosperous place. I was struck, for example, when we went up into the hills to, to Moganshan and the streets and the buildings put me in mind of a, a prosperous town in a country like Switzerland. And that, I think, would be very difficult for your average Westerner to take in because it bears no resemblance to what they're told. If I sum up to a Jiang in one word, the word that I would use is orderly. What's interesting about Zhuizhang is that most of the province is mountainous. About 70% of the province is actually mountains. And that's a real challenge in terms of economic development. Zhuizhang makes really good use of all land that's available. If you look out the window of the train as you travel, all the available land is being used and it's all being used productively and it all looks as if it's being used very effectively and efficiently. There are a lot of individual stories that I've already picked up on. For example, in Yutun village there was a very interesting and very progressive uh, initiative to set up a community that specifically targets young people uh, involved in new activities such as social media. In Moganshan there was a resort. I was expecting to see a small and rather exclusive resort and instead it was a huge complex with all sorts of activities going on whether I was visiting a huge corporation like Alibaba or GE, which covered many, many aspects, high tech and the role of private enterprise, the creation of uh, industry clusters, the environmental approach to development, they're all part of these large companies. The question, where does Zhuizhang's pioneering spirit come from, is one that I've been asking myself uh, during the time I've been here and it's not one to which I have a complete answer but I'll give you an example in Iwo we went to the international small products market and I was introduced to a young lady in a stall selling soft toys she'd studied in Essex University in the UK and she had a master's in finance and economics and your first response might have been why is a girl with a master's in finance and economics selling soft toys in a market stall. But as we discussed things further, it transpired that she wasn't really a girl selling soft toys in a market stall. She was actually an entrepreneur running a global supply chain. And the stall in the market was simply the shop front for a business with a global reach, selling products all over the world. And I think that she encapsulates the entrepreneurial spirit that must have been the driver behind Zhuizhang's success. We were on Dashan Island. We talked to two entrepreneurs. They didn't go right through high school. They certainly didn't go on to university. They had an entrepreneurial spirit. They could see an opportunity and they could seize that opportunity. And that was, I think, also very representative of the Zhuizhang spirit as a whole. And all of these themes are things that I will be able to explore in my book.